Hey YouTube, this is DBG33K and today I'm going to do a little side-by-side -side comparison of the Windows Phone 7 versus the Windows Phone 7.5 Mango update. I'll be using the HTC HD7 running Windows Phone 7 and the Samsung Focus running 7.5. Uh, I was able to get this 7.5 update a little early, the uh, beta build of it, because I am a developer. Today, Microsoft sent out invitations to select developers, um, inviting them to try out the beta build of Windows Phone 7.5 Mango. So I'm gonna, today I'm going to do a little comparison of them and show you kind of what's different, what's same, what's changed for the better, what's changed for the worse, all that kind of stuff. It's going to be a several part video, it's not going to be all one. I'm going to separate it by different sections of the phone, of the uh, OS rather. So first we're going to start out with the email. As you can see I have these both loaded with the same icons on the front screen. And right off the bat you can see that we have a different symbol for the mail. Here it's uh, you know, outlined in white with the inside being whatever color you have your start screen as. And here we have it the other way around. It's outlined in the, the color of the start screen with white on the inside. Okay, now let's jump in. So first off, well first off, you can see this, the ridiculous change in speed. Uh, Windows seven point, uh, Windows Phone seven point five was able to get to this screen very fast. Where this Windows Phone seven had to think a little bit. So next, you can see we now have, um, oh, what's it called? You know, where it's you've got kind of linked all of your your messages from a certain person uh, into one section here. So instead of it taking up two or three, so you can see here that I have two message, messages from Lorraine on Facebook. Uh, here, you just see it once. That's because when you click on it, you go into it, and you see there are the two messages. So you have that. Um, you can also see um, you now have a search option down at the bottom there. And instead of having the um, folder button, the folder button is now tucked away inside of there. And now you can also link inboxes, which I will show you how I can do. Just click on link inboxes and it shows you your other uh, accounts that you have set for email. So currently Comcast is the one that I'm currently in. I want to add my dbgeek into there. I can go back, back to the home screen and it now says linked inboxes. So I click on this and it's going to have all of the messages which I currently don't have any of my, um, my dbgeek email but it would also contain the Comcast and the dbgeek in there. And at the same time you can always go back in there back into linked inboxes and take it out if you wanted to unlink. So that works very nicely. And then you know Windows Phone 7 does not have that feature yet. So let's go back to the home screen uh, next, let's look at messaging. So, in the old one, you just have conversations. It's one thing. There's no, you know, no back and forth. It's not pivoted. Oops. But then, with Windows Phone 7.5, our first one is Threads. So this is uh, basically what messaging was, or what conversations was in Windows Phone 7. And you can go over to online now. Here, it's going to show me who all is available uh, to chat via. Facebook, uh, Windows Live, and not in this build, but in the final build, we'll also see um, Twitter, which I'm not sure if that's going to go into messaging. Uh, I imagine it will be in there somehow. But so right now it looks like just this guy's online or available. Click on him. And it says he is available, and I could chat with him on Windows Live Messenger. I'm not going to, though. Um, and down here, you can see down here we have the button switch. Okay, so here we have a few new features. Um, attach, that was always there uh, for, for normal messaging. And we also have speak. So I've actually never tested this, but I'm going to go ahead and try it now. You can speak into it, and it's going to translate what I say into text. So I'm going to hit accept. Say your hey Devin, how's it going? Let's see what we got right. 
Yes, it did. Hey, Devin, how's it going? Excellent. That's, that's very nice. I've heard that it works very well, uh, better than other services you'll find on other phones. And it's great because it's built right into the OS, so you don't have to download a, a third-party app or anything like that to, to get this feature anymore. Then also down here we have the down there we have the word switch. Now this is going to let me switch between uh, how I'm going to be contacting him. So by default, it's going to be whatever he last messaged me as or through. So if I last messaged him through text, then by default, it's going to send the next one to him through text. But if the last thing he said to me or I said to him was in Messenger, the default is going to be Messenger. So it's basically just going to take a look at what you have messaged them through and continue messaging through that. And if they're unav unavailable, excuse me, if they were in Messenger and they're now unavailable, it'll default to whatever they are available on, which would be text. So a really nice feature that will be more rounded out uh, once the full version is available. Okay, let's go back out to the main score. That was uh, that was messaging. All right, um, now we'll take a quick look at Internet Explorer. Now with Windows Phone 7.5, we have Internet Explorer, i.e. 9. Um, hold on, I'm going to try and get to a home screen. Not home screen. So here with Windows Phone 7, we have those three little buttons at the bottom. One of them is Add to Favorites, the middle one is Favorites, and then you have Tabs. With IE9 and Windows Phone 7.5, you have your address bar at the bottom instead of at the top, as you can see there. It is now at the bottom, and the refresh is now a button, as opposed to in the old one where the refresh was kind of a symbol on the address bar. And then you have the address bar, and you click on this to get all of your options. So they're still there, they're just in a different format, they're not little buttons, they're actual words for pulling up this menu. Um, and you're getting overall more screen space because you aren't having, you don't have a kind of toolbar at the top and bottom, it's just at the bottom now. So if you're one-handing it, it's much easier to hit it at the bottom rather than having to reach up to the top if you have a bigger screen phone for putting in your, uh, your URL. So back to here, look at all of our different options here. Tabs, recent, favorites, add to favorites, share page, pin to start, settings. That's about what this one had. Let me see. Um, so we had forward, which was basically share, share page. Oh, no, share page, so forward's different. I don't know what that was. Um, it's also find on page. So it looks like there's some features that are no longer a part of Internet Explorer. Though those are features that I've never um, used. And then there are features that are still there. Um, so yeah, looks like we now have add to favorites there instead of having the button. Yeah, um, and then looking at your favorites and recent. So I guess recent is like your history, uh, which is nice. I don't believe that's available on the Windows Phone 7. Let's go into settings, see what the settings are for each. See if they're any different. So both we have the allow cookies on the phone. Um, looks like for IE9 or for Windows Phone 7.5, we have the uh, allow access to my location. That's nice. Uh, website preference there in both of them. Uh, oh, cool. So now you can open links from other apps in a new tab. You can, sorry, I don't know if you can see that. You can choose between a new tab or the current tab. I uh, know this is nice because I always hate to be redirected from the page I'm at. Um, so it's nice you can now add it into a different tab instead. So that's about it for IE9 on Windows Phone 7 versus 7.5. I think that's. Well, I'm going to stop this video. Uh, next, I will be doing a video on the music and videos portion of Windows Phone 7 versus Windows Phone 7.5. I hope you've enjoyed this, and I hope you uh, stay tuned and watch the other videos. Thank you. Have a nice day.